Good afternoon and welcome to our Financial Advisor Forum. I'm Greg Greenberg from The Street. And biotech stocks have been big winners this year. The NASDAQ Biotech Index is up 50% year to date, but will biotech stocks finish the year as strong as they started? Here to answer that question is Jason Colbert, Senior Research Analyst from the Maxim Group. Welcome, Jason. Thank you, Greg. Good morning. And I do think biotech is primed to have a great year and to continue to extend this performance, maybe for the next couple of years. It's a very exciting time in the industry. Well, it's certainly exciting today because we've seen Shire by Viral Pharma. Do you expect more takeouts before the year end? I absolutely do. Uh, we just had Carex report great news last week demonstrating that their product may work even better in the pre-dialysis setting. It's exactly the type of product that a big pharma, a big biotech company would like to have because it represents significant revenues that they could plug and play into their sales force. Let's talk about some of your top picks. We'll start off with Gilead. This stock is up over 80% year to date, but do you want to stick with it or take some profits here? That's a great question, and the answer is absolutely stick with it. I've been the highest target on the street for many, many months, in part because I understand one thing in particular, and that is that Gilead's got a great drug for hepatitis C. They're launching it themselves in Japan, where you have the highest incidence, the highest prevalence in the world in hepatitis C. That's a very bold move to make for them. They're not partnering. They're doing it themselves. I think this company is hitting it on all cylinders. Another stock you like is Medivation. This stock has done well in the past month because of a good trial for their prostate cancer drug. Do you stick with this one because it's gotten a nice bump just in the last month? Yeah, beautiful bump off of the Prevail data set. And this is all about the prostate cancer marketplace. And it's a battle between their drug, Extandi, and the competitor's drug, Zytica. A um, lot of good runs and a uh, lot of, you're right, the stock has moved up substantially. We still like it. We still see fair value in the $66 range, but clearly it's not as compelling as it was in the low 50s. And then finally, Dendrion. This stock was over $40 a share two years ago. Now it's around $250. We know they're for sale. Who's going to buy it and will they get a decent premium? Yeah, no, it's a great question. And I've gone the other way. I launched Dendrion two years ago with the sell rating, but I recently changed my rating to buy and I put a $10 price target on it. The math was simple. I said, look, we have a drug here in the U.S. alone that'll do between three and four hundred million in revenues. And I would say if you get 50% margins, that's 200 million in free cash flow, three to five times suggests a takeout value of one to 1.5 billion. So I think that a company that's already got an existing infrastructure in the prostate cancer area, like Astellas and their partner Medivation or a J&J, &J, would be a great acquirer for a product like Provenge that would just dovetail into their existing armamentarium in the prostate cancer setting. All right, stick with biotech. Thank you, Jason. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching Financial Advisor Forum on the Street. I'm Greg Greenberg. Please come back.